This is Pick the Stinker by Erin Blabby. It's one of my favorite books. It's really funny. I hope you enjoy it. I think we all need to hear this story right now because it's easy to fall into a rut, not really follow through with our routine. Award for Neatness, Trevor. And Trevor is our adorable friend that is the pug. He's in all of these stories. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say his personal hygiene was far from okay. Look at him. <laughs> Pig liked to get dirty. He frankly was rank. Rank means he stinks. And look at all of that trash on him and what he's doing. His paws could be frightful. His fur often stank. Look at those waves coming off of him. That is funk. He wasn't offended by odor or smell, and if you weren't careful, he'd smell you as well. Disgusting. He is licking up dirt. He played with all kinds of unspeakable muck. Muck is trash or garbage, and look at that. What is that? And do things to make you scream, don't do that, yuck! Look at what he's doing. He's on the toilet, drinking out of it. That is disgusting, and he's covered in trash. He leaked out a stench that could not be forgotten. He reeked. He was rancid. In short, he was rotten. So those words are big words for he smelled horrifying, which is why flies are flying around him. So bath time was called. You stinky old mutt. You need a good clean from your ears to your butt. And obviously his owner is saying that. And look at his other doggy friend. He's like, yeah, yeah, we're going to take a bath. But Pig turned his tail and before you could grab it, he was out of that room like a foul little rabbit. So a stinky little rabbit. He ran away. <laughs> they chased him, but Pig had a devious knack for ducking and crawling and doubling back. To look at him. He's like doing everything to run away and get out of taking this bath. And once he had lost them, he used a small toy to block up the pipes. Then he hooted it with joy. So he took a little toy and he stuck it where the water comes out in the bathtub. What do you think is going to happen? By the time they had found him, Pig boogied with glee. You won't get your soapy old water on me! He's so against taking a bath. And look at that. He is filthy. He's covered in dirt and who knows what. And the smell, those yellow lines are the smell just wafting off of him into the air. They watch this pig gloated. <laughs> so he's like doing a happy dance. Like, you all get me. <laughs> And his little friend is like, I just want to take a bath. They watched as Pig crowed. So crowed is, woo. He's kind of just like making noises like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Because look at that faucet. They watched as Pig's plan made the, so he plugged the faucet on one side. And look at what's happening behind the wall. Made the bathroom. Uh-oh. His friend knows what's about to happen and his friend is running away. Explode! Boom. He blew the pipes. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. If you tell Pig it's bath time, he won't disobey. So I'm sure he got in a lot of trouble for that. But although you can wash him with soap cloth and towel, there's no getting round it. He's happy. He wants to be here. And Pig probably got in big trouble for that last mess. Pig is just foul. Look at what he's doing in the bathtub. What do you think he's doing? There are bubbles, there are little lines that stink. 